anger, fury, frustration. These are all different terms that you can use for the fifth deadly sin, wrath. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome back to another episode of Talking About the Seven Deadly Sins. No, not the anime. <laughs> Um, anyway, today, is, as was said, is gonna, we're going to be talking about Wrath, um, which seems to be, like, the most common out of all seven. This one is the one I see more than anything else. I don't know, maybe it's my bad luck or something, but I seem to come across a lot of angry individuals. Hey, I'm an angry little monkey. I'm not a monkey. The other one. Pink Fox is saying, I don't know if it's she, it was probably her, but the fact that she's saying she's an angry monkey, I'm like, uh, you're one of those, you're not the other. I'm angry? Monkey. Oh. Anyway. A lot of the time this kind of thing has to come from specifically, now Wrath, yeah, it involves those factors, but there's one thing that it comes from very specifically, and that is resentment. Uh, prejudice, stuff like that. When you have that involved in your mindset, you have a tendency to get frustrated and angry or rageful or hateful, you know, your choice of word, towards a very specific, specific individual. Your wrath is upon them. It's kind of where that term comes from in the first place. Actually... Um, I don't have any personal experiences where I can come across, where I can give an example of um, an IRL individual who has actually done this, but there's been like this brainstorm story that I've had for a while. I think I've presented it in the past on this channel, uh, where the main antagonist being in planned actually, the character's name was, and still is, the Latin term for this word, era. Um, this person, this individual became, becomes very hateful in the story. I'm not going to go too much into detail just because I know for a fact that people, when it comes to writing, have a tendency to just, like, take ideas. So I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. Um, but let's just put it this way. The character has a tendency to start hating on others for pulling a prank. A very large prank, but still. Um, the response is kind of where Wrath comes from. Wrath is, if anything, that particular deadly sin is a an extremely negative response to something that could have been much more heart lightheartedly taken. Um, I, I find a lot of interest in this, but at the same time, I feel like it's a bit exaggerated. Um, like, a lot of people, there are two paths in life. People can either decide to be calm about a situation, um, or they could be very displeased. Let's put it that way. Uh, and they can respond in a very negative way. I think a good example of this is, let's say, hypothetically, someone, I don't know, someone tells you that they broke something, a, a treasure that's very dear to you, you have either the option to... Go bananas. Yeah, go bananas, that's a good way to phrase it, I guess. Why do you have monkeys on the brain, Pink Fox? I don't know. Um, anyway, but I guess that's a good way to word it. Um, you could either go berserk or you could just say, you know what? It's fine. It, it was probably unintentional. Blah, blah, blah. Like throw hypothetical scenarios in your mind to lighthearted this light heart heartening the situation, but it really is up to the individual, up to the circumstance. Regardless, if you take the negative path, it usually leads to this particular deadly sin of, well, wrath. Um, this, there is one detail about this particular um, sin that I've noticed in individuals a lot. 
those who have a mindset, uh, a tendency mindset to do this kind of thing frequently, I wouldn't, in personal mind, I wouldn't call that committing the sin at that point. I'd just say it's a force of habit, which is not, to me, is not quite the same. Maybe to another individual, like someone who might be watching this, it might be different, but um, to me, I don't consider that that's like the only exception to the sin. If you're in a force of habit and you're so used to it or you've been taught in that sense, it's a different situation. It's not the same thing. But if you're the kind of person who normally, you know, you can tell the difference, you've acted on the difference on several occasions and then just every now and then this pops up. In that case, that's where it's kind of, yeah, you're, you're committing that quote-unquote sin, deadly sin. Um, does this happen often? Nah, it's 50-50. It really depends on the situation and the person. I'll, one thing that I've noticed, though, that has a tendency to prevent this kind of situation is patience, which, depending on the circumstance, can either be very easy or very difficult to have. Uh, that one I can actually give examples on because I've been on both sides of the spectrum multiple times. Um, I don't know if I can say wrath was the outcome of all of them for me, but there, every now and then, in a minor way, it has been the case. But, I don't know. These are kind of just my thoughts on, um, and, and explanations on kind of how this works. How I at least see it. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with what I said? Do you have a different outlook on this particular um, deadly sin, let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out any others of the deadly sins that have been spoken of on this channel, click link on the side of my head. You'll find a playlist that will allow you guys to watch all the other thoughts uh, being presented of the other six sins, especially once all the other ones have been talked about. We still have two more to go after this video. Uh, but if you want to check out the others to this point, why not click on that itself? Uh, if that doesn't quite suit, uh, pique your interest, why not check out the link on the other side where YouTube will tell you something that you might enjoy more. Uh, if neither float your boat, check out the channel yourself. You might find something on your own. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Talking About Seven Deadly Sins, guys. We hope to catch you guys in another video. See you guys later.